Okay, so this is my uh, follow-up video on the Raspberry Pi as uh, a replacement for an old desktop computer. Um, and uh, I had a question about what was, what was it like for Google Docs and also uh, Microsoft Office Online. Uh, and I thought I'd have a look uh, because I do have both. Uh, I was going to do Google Docs, but I just forgot about it at the time. So if I open up a new tab uh, and then go to uh, the apps here, I can go to... Where's Docs? Down the bottom? I don't really use Google Docs. Uh, so, there's Docs. And let's get an image to put into it. Let's go for... Image. I should have put background, shouldn't I? I really like this image. Uh, well, it's only a small one, but it doesn't matter. For the purpose of this, it'll be all right. So what's it called? We'll, get, we'll leave it as that, that's fine. And it's a PNG, will that be all right in Google Docs? We'll soon find out. So uh, let's go for something with a bit of uh, text and photo in there already. Well, this is my previous doc. Uh, so, See, I don't use Google Docs, so I don't know what it's like normally. Uh, so let's get rid of that photo that's there. Can I do replace image if I right click it? No. There's no delete option either, is there? So let's try right clicking again. Oh, there you go. Uh, crop image, replace image. Oh, there you go. Upload from computer, desktop, Windows 1. There you go. And selecting the text. Hello. Testing Google Docs. Uh, so there's some things here. If I double click, does that give you uh, explore, define? Use the dictionary to define words. Oh, does that not? Let's select that text, right click that. Use the dictionary to find definitions or synonyms of words. Okay, what happens if I try that then? Oh, so that works. So it's because they're not proper words. <laughs> that's probably why. Uh, so that's launched. Uh, let's open up Office. I used to use this all the time, not the online one, but um, We'll go with PowerPoint. Uh, let's go for something with a bit of style. Insert. Waiting for PowerPoint, it says there. Oh, so I'm, I'm repeatedly pressing insert, so nothing's happening because there's a load of options down here. God, this has changed, hasn't it? So insert pictures from this device. Choose a file. Let's go with my logo. Insert. How's that move? Oh, moving around's all right. That's, that's better than I would have expected. Uh, and then if I do insert pictures from Bing pictures, let's find a picture of a tiger for no particular reason. That one will do. Is that selected? Insert. Uh, let's give another another picture from Bing Pictures. What do we want to search for? I'm going to say Eiffel Tower. Yeah. There we go. And also we'll insert a table. Oh, look. This is pretty flash now, isn't it? They've certainly improved it. Uh, design. How quick is it going to change that design to something else? Oh, pretty quick. God, this is perfectly usable. I, I, without using it online, on, on older computers, it's been much worse than this. So this, this is actually rather nice to use. Shapes. Arrow. There we go, let's get rid of that table. 
So how do you cut? Cut on the edge of it. Cut. That worked. Oh, do I have to do delete objects? No. Press the delete key. Ah, press the delete key. Right, so let's insert, have we got word art, smart art, text box? What's smart art? I don't know what that is. So let's put a text box in. Uh, oh, oh, I've got two text boxes now. Subscribe to this. Uh, and then let's select that. Oh, that's an outline. How do I change the color of the text? Probably select the text. Oh, and subscribe's wrong, look. So let's double click that, right click, and subscribe. I do know how to spell subscribe. Uh, let's pull that in, which would be that. Uh, and then let's select the text, all apart from one digit. Select the text. Change that to red, red on orange, because it stands out really well. So if I go back to Google Docs, because I was getting a bit carried away with the Microsoft one, insert, uh, what have we got? Table, drawing, bar chart. Okay, that works. Insert, so where's text on this? It would probably be better if I knew what I was doing. So is it just that you just click on the page and start typing? How would you do a text box? Insert. Don't know. But uh, on this live test, I don't think it matters for that. So we've also got this running in the background. So we've got uh, Google Docs and we've got PowerPoint. Let's get some more running, uh, so Word, because uh, Excel, I'm no good at Excel, I used to use it years ago, but I haven't used it for a while. Let's go for this flyer because it's got a lot of stuff on it. Let's see how well that, light, that uh, loads up. Yeah, that loads up pretty well. I want to do as well uh, printing, but I haven't really looked at printing from uh, from Linux, but I'm sure there's obviously ways around it. Uh, it's I just I don't have any use. I don't have any need to print from my Pi, but I will explore it because I'm going to get a new printer soon. Uh, so let's go back, see if the web browser is still working fine. Uh, is there anything else that? So if I look at Office, I'm not going to go Excel. OneNote is pretty much the same as Word, PowerPoint. There's the document. So that yeah, I'm pleased with that. Go back to presentation. Let's. Select one of these, resize, move it around, select the text, put my name in, click to add lead, whatever that means, uh, change that design. It, it, actually, to be fair, the Microsoft one works really well. Maybe because I'm more familiar with it because I used to use it years ago, but I think, to be fair, how that's working, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really feel that slow at all. What's <laughs> Bill Gates' dab screensaver? Uh, <laughs> so back to presentation, back to Word, uh, select text, right click, translate, selection, what's it going to translate that to? Um, to English, from English to Chinese, there you go. Okay, so I'm pleased enough with that, that seems to work alright, I suppose I should look at Google Docs and see what else is there on Google Docs that I might use? Calendar, I don't use. Keep, I don't use. Tasks, I don't use. Uh, let's go back to apps. Open a new tab. And then it comes up with this one here. And is there anything else I want to use on there? Did I do YouTube yesterday? Uh, I'm not sure if I did. So, oh, what's Google Earth like now? Google Earth isn't supported by your browser yet. If you don't have, if you don't have Chrome installed, download it here. Oh, so it doesn't work with Chromium, well, that's fair enough. Uh, let's go back, click on that. Google Play, Google Maps. Google Maps would be a good one to see. I remember Google Maps being terrible uh, years ago. Right, so 
Can we can we click into there? Have we got a street view guy? God, that's clear, isn't it? Crikey. Right, double click. Double click to to run around. That is that's decent, isn't it? I picked quite an open part of New York there, didn't I? Nice bit of space. So we've got loads open, look. We've got Hot UK Deals. We've got, that's just apps. Oh, I suppose I could put a bit of Canvas Rider in there as well. Uh, let's try. <laughs> I could do better than that, surely. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. nice and early. right. Okay, so we've got this with loads of images on. We've got the presentation, uh, which is still, it's not like anything's um, sort of uh, losing out for not having enough RAM or anything, you know, so everything is still movable. Everything stays relevant. You know, I can go straight into this. I can go straight back to a web page. I tell you, this is impressive. I, I'm actually, I am... I'm much more impressed than I thought I was going to be. Both both of them work fine. Lots of things open. Yeah, that is very good. If you've got any suggestions, I might I might try some more of this sort of thing just to show how well Raspbian works with various different programs. Obviously, try and make them pretty popular and pretty mainstream because I don't I don't want to have to learn coding or anything like that. But uh, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.